Hey guys, Jamie and Sarah here. Welcome back to our channel. Today we are gonna be getting a little crafty and painting some furniture to then flip and then give away the profits to someone in the comment section. And today we're gonna to be using Beyond Paint. It's not just paint, it's beyond it. Uh, but what's cool about it is that there's no priming or sanding or stripping needed. Uh, you can just paint it on anything and it's extremely durable. If you guys know us, we don't love huge projects. We like mini projects. So we don't like to be spending hours and hours sanding and staining and doing all this crazy stuff. For, so for us, this is perfect because we can spend a little bit of time to make a really big impact and still make really good profit. We're gonna test it out today. We have a cool forest green color. Yeah. Which I think is gonna look really cool with these mid-century pieces. A little trendy. So let's get into it. All right, so this first piece we paid $40 for and I drove about 45 minutes to get it because I loved it. It's so cute. It just has really beautiful angles. It's solid wood and it has beautiful legs on it. I just love the whole thing. So super excited about it, but it is pretty dinged up. So I think that the paint will be a good addition to cover some of that up. This piece we're gonna do a two-toned look. So I'm gonna leave some of it original wood and then painting some of it green. So this bottom part will be green, but then we'll be leaving this, the shelves in the background and then also the legs, that natural wood. Um, so I think it'll be a really cool two-tone look. So we're gonna get started and the very first thing I have to do is clean this up really good so that the paint can adhere to it properly. So to clean this thing, I'm gonna do a half vinegar, half water mixture. That's what we do to clean all of our pieces and it works really well. So I have a little bit of wood missing on this piece. So I'm gonna be using this Timbermate wood filler. I like this stuff because it's water-based and it doesn't shrink when it dries. Um, so I'm gonna be filling in that crack so I can paint over it. Look at this matches my shirt. It's a pretty adorable color, am I right? So now I'm gonna go in all these little crevices with a paintbrush, and it says to kind of like dab it to like avoid streaks. So that's what I'm doing. This stuff is is so crazy. Can you guys see that? Oh, oh did I get it? Look at that. It's like mud. I've just finished painting this bottom part. I have to do a little bit of work on the top. Um, and it says to let it dry for two to four hours before the next coat. So that's what I'm gonna have to patiently wait and try to do. So I finished with two coats of paint on this piece of furniture and honestly, it looks great. It covered so well um, and it's low VOC so I could paint it inside. We got a gallon of it, but we probably only used like a fifth of it because it's such like muddy consistency. It's such a unique paint. You don't need to put a top coat on it. It's kind of crazy stuff. I've used chalk paint in the past and I wasn't super happy with it because it looked kind of crafty and you have to put a top coat on it, but this stuff was amazing. Yeah, and so we have a link below. Uh, feel free to check out. They have tons of different colors on their website. And again, you definitely don't need a gallon <laughs> to do a project like this. You could probably get away with just a pint. It also claims to be good for kitchen countertops for like a quick, cheap remodel. So I'd love to see if anyone tries that project out. So send us a picture if you do that. So we decided to leave this piece of furniture here to stage it and take a photo of it instead of moving it over to our pink mural wall, mostly because it's really heavy and it looks really good in this room. So. Um, I'm gonna be doing that. I kind of staged it with some cute little things. We bought this piece for $40. We spent another 20 in some paint supplies. Um, so we have 60 into it and I'm gonna list it for 250, which would give us a $190 profit. So I'm gonna go ahead and take some photos of this and get this thing listed on Facebook Marketplace. I got the goods. Got the goods, the bads. That's so good. Beautiful. This one's decent. The other one is not so much. Real quality. So Jamie picked up this cabinet kind of on a whim. It was 20 bucks. He didn't do a ton of research when he got there. It's a little intimidating when someone's kind of staring at you. You're at their house. It's a little awkward. He should have probably opened up the, the doors a little more and investigated. But we paid 20 bucks for this piece and when we got it home we saw that it was like 
glued together here and like the drawers didn't really work like it's a piece of junk so we were gonna try to maybe rebuild it all and fix it but it just isn't worth it so we lost 20 bucks on this one so we're gonna set this guy out by the road for free if somebody wants it they can come grab it All right, this one we paid $20 for. Uh, it's definitely a little less quality of a piece. It's just a veneer and it's pretty banged up. So uh, we're gonna paint it that same green color and I think it's gonna really look a lot better, a lot nicer. Um, and then we're gonna also put it on legs because it's awkwardly short, as you can tell already. So we're gonna start by cleaning this one up and then I'm actually gonna have to build a plywood base for it. Um, and then we'll put the legs on. So let's get started. All right, so I'm out in the garage starting to take a look at this other cabinet we bought. Um, our original plan was to put a piece of plywood on the bottom uh, right here and then add legs to the bottom like this so it would be considered a credenza. But it's kind of awkward down here um, and I'd have to build extra supports and all that. And I still don't think it would end up looking very pro. I think it would kind of look hodgepodgey. So we decided to actually take off this bottom piece of trim here, go all the way down to here. It'll simplify it, um, but it'll also shorten it a little bit. So we can no longer call it a credenza. I think it's going to be just a TV stand. Uh, it'll still look really cool. I think we'll be able to get but still between 150 and 200 for it. So let's get started. All right, so now that we have this panel cut off, I bought a trim piece to go over the edge right here. Um, so I'm gonna cut that next and put it on. It'll just give it a nice professional finished look. So I'm gonna do that and then I also realized I have to put a mounting plate for the legs. Um, I wasn't anticipating having to do that, but I have a scrap piece from our kitchen remodel. Uh, so I'm gonna basically just mount it there on the bottom uh, and then mount the legs to that. So that'll keep it uh, really sturdy and it'll hold a lot of weight that way. So now that I got these base pieces installed, I'm just going to um, glue on my trim like this um, and then flip it upside down and put the plates in for the legs. I'm always pre-drilling too with this hardwood, otherwise it'll split. So um, yeah, so we're almost done. All right, I'm to the final step before paint, which is putting the legs on. Um, so we bought these legs off Amazon. We'll link them below, but uh, they're pretty easy to install. You just have to first screw a metal plate to the wooden leg and then screw the leg down to uh, my cabinet. So pretty straightforward. I'm mounting these plates about an inch off the edge and then uh, three inches in from the side. So they will start in the center of the cabinet, but since they're angled, they'll end up right near the edge. So I think it'll end up looking really cool. So uh, I'm going to get to pre-drilling these holes and getting the screws on. Okay, so now I'm just going to screw it into my cabinet. <laughs> okay, one thing I'm now noticing is that because they didn't put uh, the hole marks on the top, uh, this is actually a little bit uh, twisted, so I have to mount the plate a little crooked uh, in order for it to look straight from the outside. Alright, time to bring it inside. All right, so this thing is already looking a lot cooler than it did before. Uh, those legs really made it pop. Uh, so what we're gonna do is just paint all the veneer green. Uh, we're gonna leave those the natural wood. Uh, it's gonna turn out really cool, but we're gonna definitely be putting that Beyond Paint to the test to see how it adheres to this veneer. This white trim is the only evidence that we cut off the bottom. Um, and it looks kind of out of place right now, but once we get it painted green, it's gonna blend right in and look like it was on purpose. So let's get to painting. All right, so I did have to do one extra coat of paint just to make sure and cover that veneer. Uh, it turned out great though. So just as a reminder, we paid $20 for this cabinet. Uh, we have another $20 to $30 into supplies. So even if I sell this for $150, that's still gonna give us a $100 profit. I might be able to get more than $150 though. I'm gonna start maybe around $180 to $200 and see if I can get that. But if not, we'll just lower it to $150. 
But again, I'm super impressed with this paint's durability. Um, it hasn't even been the two to three days to cure and it already is pretty scratch resistant. So I um, definitely recommend this product. I'm also gonna link these legs below. They're just from Amazon, but um, the angled look to them is really cool and they're pretty inexpensive. All right, I'm gonna get this thing listed and hopefully we can get at least 150 for it. All right, so just a quick recap for you guys on this flip video. We sold that first mid-century Hutch bookcase for $300, we bought it for 40, we put another 20 into it with just some painting supplies um, and sold that one right away. That was a really unique piece, so that was really cool. So the profit on that one was $240. The next piece we bought for $20 and then we have another 40 into that one between the legs, some trim work and some other painting supplies. Um, so we're all in on that one for $60 as well and then we sold that one for 180. So that one wasn't quite as unique of a piece but we made it really unique with the paint and the legs. So while I was picking up the piece that we added legs to, she also had another hutch for sale for $20 and I picked that one up. Uh, I didn't really look at it too closely and we got it home and realized it was beyond repair and so we lost $20 on that one. So just make sure that when you are buying things from people to check it out before you buy it. Um, I know it can feel like a lot of pressure when you're at someone's house and it feels kind of awkward, but open those drawers, smell it a little bit, just make sure that you're not getting a super dumpy product because it's kind of your fault if it that happens, it wasn't really the seller's fault. So um, we should have looked into that a little more. So that was kind of a bummer. So this week's profit giveaway is our biggest one yet at a total of $340. We're super happy with how our pieces turned out and the paint made it really easy. So we're excited to give this money away to someone in the comment section. So to enter to win the $340, make sure you comment below, subscribe to our channel, like this video and follow us on Instagram. And then stay tuned for our next video where we will announce the winner from the comment section. So if you're new to our channel, we have an entire furniture flipping playlist where we break down a little bit more of how we actually do things. Uh, and we'll link that below, so go check that out next.